Oh, this game is so good, chat. Chloe would be all over this, so I better get moving. I still can't stop thinking about Kate. It's like I'm awake in a bad dream. I'm such an idiot, Kate. I could have shown this to the principal and busted David. I could have. See, Lisa? At least I kept you alive. Hey! Guess the I'm plants better alive. with plants than people. Are you a hungry bunny? Here, nosh on this. Am I a hungry bunny? I mean, yeah, a little bit. Thanks for asking. That was very kind of you. It was very nice of you to ask. Pretty hard to focus on my class schedule this week. I wonder why. Okay, this is scary dark. Let there be... Oh. Oh, are we playing Alien Isolation now, chat? Is that is that what's happening? I feel like we're playing Alien Isolation now. Great. So much hypocrite. God, that's like some awful TV crime scene in our dorm. Kate, I would give up my power if I could have another rewind to save you. I won't rest until we find out the truth. And this is my prayer for you, Kate. Bless your gentle soul. Seems like a fire hazard. I mean, I understand it's, it's a very nice gesture and everything like that, but seems like a fire hazard. Hey, Max. I, I saw you go up on the roof to try to help Kate. I can't believe she jumped. I can. I just wish I could have stopped her. Are you okay? I'm just, like, numb. I, I've never seen anybody actually die. Me neither. I didn't think you'd be so upset considering how much shit you and Victoria gave Kate. I'm my own person, not Victoria's bitch. Hello, like, she's freaking too. She already broke curfew tonight. <gasps> Shit, I'm not supposed to tell anybody. I won't say a word. I swear to dog. I believe you, Max. Besides Victoria, you're the only one who asked me about my mom in the hospital. That meant a lot to me. I'm my own person too. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks. You're, like, weird, but pretty cool, Max. Especially after watching you go up on that roof. Victoria's wrong about you. 
Now I have to be alone for my nightly anxiety attack. Talk to you later. Max. I know. Victoria must be upset since I saw her sneaking out of the dorm past curfew. Oh man, like, you saw her? She was so, like, nervous when she left the dorm. She wouldn't even tell me where she was going. Probably to hell. Well, I have to go crash. <laughs> it's been a rough day, as you know. Thanks, Max. And I hope you're okay, too. You were the only one who tried to save Kate. Victoria was wrong about you. Now I have to be alone for my nightly anxiety attack. Talk to you later. Oh, Victoria isn't here. Maybe I'll just wait and bide my time. Going through her shit. Hey, Max? Come here. Hey, Dana. How are you doing? I just can't stop thinking about Kate. And if this is my fault, too. I think we're all responsible for what happened. Not you, Max. You were close to her. Doesn't matter now. Kate's dead. Tell that to Victoria and the Vortex Club. Dana, there's more to this than just Victoria and the Vortex Club being mean. So what exactly are you saying, Max? You think this has something to do with Nathan being expelled? It's complicated. I don't want to drag you into this, okay? Not yet, anyway. I'm getting scared now. But people here are still sneaking out tonight. What? Like, who? Victoria bounced out of here earlier, and now you, Sherla? Not me. I need a break from today. Get some sleep too, Dana. I'll see you later. Hmm. Hmm. Breaking curfew, chat. So Chloe is waiting for me in front of the main hall. Jesus. I still can't believe she jumped. Nobody can expel me. Not yet, anyway. The Tabanka does look pretty scary at night. Please don't destroy me. Oh, the most magical insects. Burn bright. Like we need to do something to like maybe turn the lights out or make him freak out or something. Okay, door. Oh, it's unlocked. I hope Sammy wasn't around. Nothing but tools. Nothing here. I 
I know Samuel doesn't wear silky scarves. So who does? Who knew Samuel was so into runway fashion? Oh, great. He saw me. Maybe I could sneak by when he was trying to open the door. Nuts and bolts. <laughs> like my grandpa's garage. Oh. Set of keys on me somewhere. Mm. Ah, gotcha. Now, wow. Max the Ninja strikes again. There we go. There we go. Oh, jeez. Wow. Get it? Chloe. Boo, yeah. Wow. Like scary punk ghost. Wow. More like a scary and sensitive asshole. Chloe, I watched my friend jump off a roof today. I don't think you need to prank me tonight. You always trip out on me for not being there for you, but is this how you're there for me? I'm... I'm sorry, Max. I, I wasn't even thinking. I suck. I'm not trying to be a bitch, but... I'll never get the image out of my head of Kate jumping off that roof. All because my power didn't work. It didn't mean shit. I know seeing Kate fall was horrible. I don't even know how to deal with that, so I just act like an idiot. But it's your badass power that's gonna bring all this to a close. We just need to connect the players. And find out who really killed Kate. We have to stop this from happening to anybody else. Oh yeah, and somehow stop that tornado from wiping out Arcadia Bay, right? Didn't you say that it was all about chaos theory? I don't see any control over this chaos. Oh right, except for your ability to... Oh yeah, manipulate time and space? No biggie. Chloe, I just feel weird about some of my decisions. Especially after I just got Nathan expelled. Dude, do not even torture yourself like that. Let's focus on looking for clues, okay? Right. For one thing, there's too much coincidence between the people around Kate and Rachel. Like Step Prick and Nathan Prescott? Not just them. Yep. I just want to beat the shit out of those particular bros. I can still feel David's hand on my face. And even though I don't know her... It feels like Rachel is guiding us to the truth. Fuck the truth. I just want to find my friend right now. It scares me to think where she could be. Do you think she's... Alive? I have to think that, Chloe. Her spirit is so powerful here. Maybe too much power. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. We have to. I promise you we will. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Now tell me what's your secret. Drum roll, please. I present the spare keys to Blackwell. Thank you, step prick. You are such a boss, Chloe. I just don't want you to get into any more trouble. Look at all the trouble dropping in Arcadia Bay. At this point, who gives a fuck anymore? We're in it to win it, Max. Lead the way. I'm so glad you're my partner in crime. As long as you're my partner in time. Insert groan here. Thank you again so much for helping me put together a portfolio. Hopefully the rest of the class will follow your lead. I'm sorry I was distracted. As you know, it's not been a good day for Blackwell. I know this has been an awful day, and you can talk to me anytime, Mr. Jefferson. 
Thank you, Victoria. I imagine, uh, you're pretty upset over Kate as well. I'm, like, still in shock. I've never seen anybody die. I really cared about Katie. Katie? No, you didn't. I had no, no idea you two were that you close. Fucking... Did she? Well, how does this affect the Everyday Heroes contest? Wow. It doesn't. The contest wow. is still a go, and I still have to pick the winner I hate the best you, Victoria. I really hate I've you. I've got all the photos, except one from Max. I'll give you a one-word sneak preview of Max's photo. Selfie. Listen, you've seen my entry. You know it's better than that. Wouldn't that be so cool to hang out together in San Francisco, Mark? Stick to Mr. Jefferson, Victoria, please. And, uh, I haven't picked a winner yet. You already wow. love my work, so it's not like you're playing favorites. Just imagine if you picked my photo, though. We would have to spend a lot of time together. That could be fun, don't you think? I'm going wow. to think that you didn't say any of that. You might as well choose me. Otherwise, I might have to tell people you offered to choose my photo for favors or something. As a favor to your future, I'll also ignore that undisguised threat. This conversation is officially over, Miss Chase. I suggest you go back to your dorm now. Wait! I only... Wow! Manipulative! Are you kidding me? You're fu- you're- Wow! Yes, what's up, Rabbit? Welcome back. So stupid. Just when I think Victoria can't get any more evil. Shit is about to get real. Why were we oh. nice to her, chat? I'm trying out. to remember. Like, we should not have been nice. Chloe the Keymaster. You know it. Dude, I don't Yeah, know this is chapter this. three, Rabbit. We're both yeah, chapter in three. so much trouble. You can always let me get busted like you did with the weed. Whoa! I'm serious. Chloe. We're not kids anymore. Don't throw that in my breaking fucking me. face. If I have a key, how can it be breaking? They can't charge us for just entering. I'm serious. We could go to jail. Not if I'm related to the head of Blackwell security. Step shit will not want me in the hands of the local police. So we better find out what's in the principal's office first. You can rewind if we get caught, right? You have mad powers, Max. Tell that to Kate. Come on, one more door and our work here is done. I have a bad feeling about all of this. I'm not gonna lie. Only a total phony would wear a crappy hat like that. Squirrels like nuts. Does that mean Samuel is... Nah. Yes? Did you get the key already? Chloe, just get the key. That's it. the fuck? The security officer should have the key to the principal's office. He's hiding shit, like everybody here. Well, now we definitely have to get this door open. Believe it or not, I know a little about lockpicking, thanks to Frank. I might as well test out my thief skill. Oh, gosh. Go for it. We're already in this deep. Wow. Well, you could look for the key, just in case. Why, yes, I could. Nothing here. Yeah, because it's a filing cabinet. Dead end. Boring. Crap. Here are the keys. None for the principal's office. No key for thee. We have to find another way in. I didn't spend enough time with Frank, but I'll use my DIY lockpick tools while you come up with a better plan. My plan has a name. Hey, Warren, you busy? Just bubble hearth, you'll be okay. Listen, I need your physics expertise stat. 
without naming names, if somebody had access to the art and science labs and wanted to construct a device that would, say, open a locked door, would you maybe kind of know how? Huh? No, I'm just asking for fun. Thanks, science guy. Uh, no, 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 stay. We need you as backup. Just send the text instructions now. Yes, I'm still all in to go ape with you at the drive-in. Thanks for the hope. I can't tell if she Success. actually likes Warren or if she's Try just... Trying to wake up everybody at Blackwell. Or not. Sorry, Max. I got nothing. What about your plan? I'm gonna go put it together. Can you stay here and not get caught? I might get on the other side of that door before you, Lupin. The race is on. See you soon. Can you not text me so much? Warren is such a classic nerd. Let's see if I can find those items. What do you know? Trash. Yeah, yeah, we're looking for trash because I need a soda can. Nothing in it. A long time ago, Nathan got smacked down. Just emptied. Nothing here. Release the crack hand. It's all mine anyway. All right. I mean, I was looking. Three more items to go. I was looking for a free one, but. formalin smell only a b minus warren has shattered my faith of course i'm barely passing science oh sugar you deserve way more than this for taking on nathan but every little grade counts i'm sorry what did we just do chat yes i like this plus well, better i than didn't that mean minus. to do that that wasn't what Thanks i was trying to hear from me warren okay i just move sugar uh yeah that was not at all what You're i was intending home, to do chat but we just did it warrant buddy warrant com buddy calm down i'm trying to find the shit that i need duct tape and sodium chlorate all right Biology. Oh, gross. A periodic table. Wish I knew what periodic means. Ass biology chat. Ass biology. Wow. Wow. Great graffiti. Max takes I never shitty said selfies. They were great. I had sex with your mom. Good joke. Good joke. So sodium chloride is a weed killer. You'd think one Later, would little boo boo. Thanks for thing. hanging out. I hope you've enjoyed it. Have a great one. Thank you for hanging out. I hope you've enjoyed the game and watching me stumble through it. You're an artist, damn it, not a scientist. But this is so not sodium chlorate. Wait, what do you mean? 
Here's the sodium chloride box. Ew, gross. At least switch to e cigs You know you're clumsy, Max. Don't waste your rewind power. Use the damn chair. <laughs> All right, now we just need to find Only duct tape. One more ingredient left. Yeah, Bunny. God, use the chair. I know. This is like a scene in a horror film. Exactly what I was thinking. Oh, Kate. Even when you were sad, you tried to see the good in the world. Daniel's a better illustrator than photographer. <laughs> Said Toria. That is pretty fucking sweet. How can I hate somebody that shoots like that? I feel gross even looking at Nathan's work. But he does have some style. You can never escape the lighthouse here. Victoria's cigarettes? I'm sure Mr. Jefferson is impressed. Wow. Wow. I didn't kill her. I just didn't. I just couldn't save her. Okay. The tape is mine. Now it's time to show Chloe that Max is the bomb. Please don't say that again. Let's make sure we... Oh, Mom sent us. Uh, Max, please call us as soon as you can. We know this is painful, and we uh, want you to know how... And we want to know how you are, so please, please get in touch. And if you want to come and spend some time back home, the door is open and your bed is made. We love you. I'll call you right away. Love you. It was good to hear your voice. Remember uh, what we talked about. You were there for your friend when she had nobody else, and Kate made her own choice. Nobody could expect more than what you did. You're our hero, and we love you so much, Maxine. Call us anytime you need to talk or visit. Aw, thanks, Mom. Cute. Uh, hey, whore. Feminazis will be exterminated. Watch out. Wow. Ick. All right. Wrap the can in duct tape. Pour everything in and explode. I I think that's our instructions. Take it easy on the door, Chloe. Let's try this instead. Boom. Literally. Yes. Time to blow shit up. This is a fucking terrible if you like idea. The candle, this is so cool. Get ready to All haul right, sounds ass. good, Shorty. This is a fucking horrible idea. That was so fucking cool. Oh, we are toast. Here comes the whole Arcadia Bay Fire and Police Department. Uh, so what should we do? Sorry. Uh What? If I can get this bastard open, she can't cheat with her rewind. Uh, <laughs> oh, this is bullshit. Fuck 
the door. Welcome to my domain. Uh, uh, by, we did you this by magic. total fucking accident. I don't know how the hell you got in there, but you did it, sister. The company I keep. Now, let's find what we want and beat it. My powers only go so far. Man, I can see why the principal locks this room up. Fancy faux art crap. He must want everybody I to know I just wanted to money. go in there and try to find Get something no and taste. then re rewind us back to when things were okay. How can you trust somebody who has a fucking bronze bird in his office? I'm glad I was expelled. Yes, if only the principal had a Monet or Picasso, you'd still be at Blackwell. Eat me. I'm gonna pill for the papers on this ugly ass desk. Um. Okay, sure. It's ugly, but damn, is it a cozy chair? This is your chance to truly get all deductive and shit, Sherlock. Find us some clues about Rachel or Kate or Nathan. Anybody. I'm on the case. This pretty much sums up Kate. Shy and sweet. And in the wrong place. Only two more files to go. Look at this pile. Tumbleweeds. Weird. This asshole has a spotless record. Huh. Of course he does. And a 3.7 GPA, chat. Look at that. Hmm. Like I'm Amazing. not going to read my own personal file. A 2.8? This file is going to be so spotless, I'll projectile vomit. A 3.9? I have to make sure Warren doesn't have oh, a Warren is a fucking 4.0? Let's nab this last file, Sherlock. Always wanted to say nab. Rachel doesn't seem so troubled based on all this. But there's not much here about the police wow. investigation. Rachel has a 4.0 also? Or had? Damn. Man, I don't blame the principal for expelling Chloe. What? <laughs> 1.7? Chloe Price is a problematic student at Blackwell, despite the best efforts of faculty and administration to guide her academically. Chloe does little homework and is often willy, uh, willfully belligerent to her teachers. She has caused numerous class disruptions with inappropriate comments and rude gestures to fellow students. She was recently suspended for spray painting graffiti in the parking lot. Even though Chloe is an intelligent student with potential, she chooses to squander it on empty rebellion against a non-mandatory institution wow bravo chloe bravo i think we found everything in here i should go join chloe now so nathan prescott's dad is a bully too shocker in light of recent outrageous allegations against my son and his suspension i feel that my large contributions to blackwell academy should also be suspended of course this is which can be rectified once nathan is reinstated at blackwell with a written apology along with that i understand that the tragic in event involving miss marsh give you pause but i would suggest that canceling thursday's party is not conducive to the can do spirit of blackwell academy I expect you to reconsider and come to the same obvious conclusion. Thank you, Sean Prescott. A four is like a four is perfect, if I'm not mistaken. Like a 4.0 GPA means you have straight A's in all of your classes. That 
That is so cool that my signature actually counted. Go, Miss Grant. Oh, they're not putting in. Okay, that's good to know. You're not so tacky up close. Max, you better come check out these files. Nathan accuses Rachel of bringing drugs on campus, and my step troll went along because he thinks Rachel was a bad influence on me. Assholes. If David is teaming up with Nathan Prescott, that's a bad sign. Nathan Prescott the third. Ooh, he's so money. And you know the Prescotts dropped major bank to bury Nathan's real file. Look, it reads like a rap sheet. Bad grades, teacher complaints, secret probation. But I was expelled? At least Nathan was finally suspended. Check out that note. Open it. It's just some crazy drawing. It's not a drawing. Look. Rachel in the dark room. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. That's fucked up. What does this even mean? Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. Whoa, listen to this. David M. always asks what's going on in my head. David M. always helps me follow those he follows. <sighs> it's pretty cryptic. No, it sounds like they formed some sort of weird team, the Super Hebros. Jesus. David was stalking Kate, hassling me, and now we know he was all over Rachel, too. Oh, we are so going into his garage files. Plus, I'm getting a little paranoid in here. We got our info. Let's bail. But maybe we shouldn't leave without a gift. No, you are not taking the cozy chair. Max, do your powers include mind reading? Or did you just rewind because I tried to steal the chair? Shit, I'm confused. It's the powers of best friendship. I know how you roll. We should definitely get out of here. We pressed our luck enough. Hello, what have we here? Holy shit! Jackpot! Cha-ching! Wow, sir. That's a lot for the handicapped fund. Dude, there's $5,000 here. I could pay Frank back tonight. This'll chill him out after our knife showdown yesterday. Are you gonna make a big issue out of it's this? It's a fucking or just handicap and take the greenbacks fund. for yourself? I hope you do that instead of lecturing me. We're not stealing the fucking handicap money. Karma, come on. You really want to take money from the handicapped fund? I know you need to pay Frank back, but... I've got my power to protect you, right? There's a lot of power in that horse-choking wad of cash. But yes, Moral Max is right again. I guess. Let's get the hell out of this office morgue. I know that money would have helped Chloe and me. This should be hanging in a thrift store. That impish look scares me. Care for a midnight swim? The Blackwell pool is ours. Swimming? You want to take that risk now? It's been a cray week. You didn't let me take that money to pay off Frank, so if he pops a cap in my skull, at least allow me to have a little carefree fun for a few minutes. Splish Splash? You're right. Chloe, you we hella are... deserve it. Splish Splash. Chloe, Did you, you actually just say the... hella? I think I'm a good bad influence on you. Wow. No, you're just a bad, bad influence. It's a bad, you're a bad, bad influence. There's not a good, bad influence at all. We're in the otter's lair. Big fucking deal. I want that heated water. We still have to play it cool, okay? I still go to school here. You can own this hellhole once you figure out your rewind power. Chloe is so psyched for girls' night out, so I better follow her eat. Go, otters. Wait, are you? Are they the fucking otters, or are so they different. the Bigfoot? I just get wide. Like, I, I, I don't know what their mascot actually is now, chat. I'm very confused. Boys or girls?
What? Why is this? Why is this a question right now? Boys, of course. Figures. Perv. Let me check to see if the pool's heated. I don't know why I chose boys at all, chat. I have no idea. I guess I just somebody figured, forgot like, their Blackwell spirit. I figured, like, girls are actually a lot like boys when it comes to, like, I kind of want to see what's in the boys' locker room. Like, as a, as, a, as a boy, we would be like girls because we would want to see what's in the girls' locker room, and we know the girls would want to see, you know what, whatever. I'm not justifying myself to you, chat. Boys' locker room is right. Sometimes. No way am I touching Zack's jersey. Zack is really careless. Doesn't he know what happens when I'm around? Oh. Betty developed that in Jefferson's class. But why? But why? But why? Why would this boy that has literally been flirting with me this entire time and is always there for me, that is always really into me, why would he have a picture developed of me and him? I don't know. I don't know. I don't get it. Give me a second, chat. I don't know. It's okay for Nathan to be hooked on these drugs, right? Some poor hipster lost their vape. Wow. Wow. Hmm, it's nice to know Victoria loves something besides herself. Welcome to 1950. I bet you do. This one is almost empty. The guys must like their pink goop. Max Caulfield, moral avenger. Or self-righteous hypocrite. Bros will be bros. Chloe just couldn't wait to splish splash in the pool. Max, try to find the light for the pool. I want to see the sharks. Otters don't like sharks. They bite. So do I. Hit that light. I, I'm pretty sure turning the light on is the worst thing that we could do. I don't think anybody has ever drowned here. I hope. In case I run out of air, I know where to come. Looks like I'm the Vortex Club bouncer. Decisions, decisions. Oh shit. Oh, chat. The football team is the Bigfoots and the Otters are the swimming team. Wait, so they have two mascots? Looks like I'm the Vortex Club bouncer. Let's add some decisions, names. Decisions, decisions. Oh for just one picture of their faces when they see my name. All right, so can I remove names also? Oh, I'm sorry. Your names are not on the list. You'll have to eat shit now. Wow, Max, you're the best. Looks like I'm the you're Vortex the best. Club bouncer. You're the best, Max. Decisions, Ugh. decisions. What 
fuck is the power switch, chat? Like, where's the where's the light switch? Am I just blind? Just when I thought it was safe to go back in the water. Oh, it must be in here. There has to be a control panel for the lights around here. Yeah, it's literally right here. This is a terrible idea. This is a terrible idea. I'm not sure why we're do doing this. Coffee and swimming. Good combo. Actually, you were not wrong. That is actually a really good combo. Yes, we get it. Otters. Is that your underwear, or did you just have a swimsuit with you? Time to do or dive, Max. Wait, do I need to get changed? Oh. Oh, yeah, baby. Feels like a hot tub. Too bad you made me feel like the queen of assholes because I wanted that cash stash. Tell me you're not going to stand there watching me like a zombie. Don't you dare! Come stop me, hippie. Okay, you asked for it. Cowabunga! Why look, an otter in my water. Dun 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 dun. You are so obvious. And I still get freaked out by that movie, so stop. I can't even watch any of those shark shows. <laughs> I'll just rewind and harpoon you. Otter's revenge. Cheater. Yeah, you wouldn't know about that. <laughs> I wish Rachel was here. She would totally love being in here at night. Wish you guys had met each other. We will. With all this stuff going on, I'm starting to think everything is related. And I want to find out why for Kate's sake. She didn't deserve to die. Your power is changing everything, Max. Especially you. I can already tell. You're not so chicken shit anymore. Thanks, girlfriend. You know what I mean. You're becoming like... This force of nature. More like luck of nature. Come on, my power failed trying to rescue Kate. Maybe I'm just stumbling back and forth in time. For what reason? You didn't stumble when you saved me, Max. Mm. Thank God. But what if I had? What if you and Kate would both be dead? So it's time to start moving forward in time. And we're obviously connected since without me, you would have never discovered your power, right? I don't know. Well, I do, okay? So just listen to Captain Chloe. I'm trying, as long as we don't waste this power. Stop being so goddamn humble. You're like the smartest, most talented person I've ever known. More than Rachel Amber? Dude, I'm not her groupie, okay? And I'm sure you have Blackwell bros all over you. Like Warren. Warren is... nice. <laughs> nice? Ouch. That means friends. No, he's really cool. It was so sweet when he stood up to Nathan. But I haven't told him about my rewind power. No worries. Once you get over yourself, you're going to make the world bow. As long as you're there with me. Don't look so sad. I'm never leaving you. She has, aban she has really hard cool. abandonment issues, chat. Like Chloe has because really big instead of attacking abandonment each other. issues. Otter versus shark style. I uh, think I've had my pool experience for the year. Let's check. Let's call it a draw. I'm gonna freeze my ass off when I get out.
gross. I feel like we just went swimming in Chlorine Bay. You look cute with your hair soaked in chemicals. Thanks. You would know. Hide! Hide. Move, Max. Don't waste your power on getting busted. Make sure you cover the whole room. Are you shitting me? Dude, hide. Like when we were kids. I could use my power. Or just look for a hiding spot. Or both. try any Halloween pranks after today. I'm serious. I heard something over here. Who's here? I got I got a flashlight and a stick. so invisible let's bail that was a little nerve-wracking chat not gonna lie that was a little that was a wee bit nerve-wracking wait turn around they're coming we have to find another way out oh, this is bullshit you can't go back to your dorm now you're a blackwell fugitive Crash at my place tonight. You want me to crash where the Blackwell security officer lives so I'll be safe? Uh, okay. Into the car. Get in. <laughs> Later, fuckers. Max, you rock. We are so fucking awesome. <laughs> yes, we so are. Yeah. It's been really good. It's been really good. I've I've thoroughly enjoyed the first two chapters. Is, is the entire is part two fully out and done now or no, not yet. What's up, Maximus? How are you? How are you? Doing great. Doing really good. Is it? I'm loving it so far. I'm act I'm loving it so far. Always remember this moment. Photo bomb. Photo hog. I 
feels like a different world from yesterday. We left a skid mark on Blackwell last night. Like it needs another one. I'd like to do something good for my school in Arcadia Bay. I can't even submit my photo to represent. I just don't want to be rejected. Every great artist gets rejected before they get accepted. So you have to enter a photo. Even though I'm pimping the school in town you want to torch? Come on, I don't want to see Arcadia Bay burn to the shore. I just say shit like that because I've been trying to get out of here since... since you left, basically. If I could find Rachel, then pay Frank off. I'm still leaving to start a whole new life. I wish we could just hang out all morning like we used to. Maybe we should get up. I have to get back to Blackwell soon. Oh, does the schoolgirl have a test today? I'm starting to feel like going to Blackwell every day is a test. I just need to get on my regular school schedule again. I know that it is freezing, but I think we have to walk. I keep waving at the taxis, they keep turning their lights off. I'm so wiped out from last night. But it was awesome. I have to ponder what kind of criminal I've become. Last night was only the tip of the iceberg. I have to admit, it was pretty cool to take over the Blackwell gym. Hmm. Today the gym, tomorrow the world. We need to step it up. We still have to be careful how I use my power. I don't want to get stuck in time. So the reason that I, I went with the Ryzen 7, um, it does really good about handling okay, um, multi-processes um, over like an Intel. Um, so because I do everything from one PC, I don't have multiple PC set up. Um, I need the Ryzen to be able to encode my stream as well as render 3D seamlessly for games. Um, so that's why the Ryzen handles that a little bit better than Intel does, I and the price point was a little bit less. So I love my Ryzen 7. I think it's it's been amazing. I absolutely love my Ryzen 7. Ugh, still reeks like a chlorine factory. See if you can find a suitable outfit in my fashion hole. Chloe is so damn cute. She's really trying to suss out what my vision means. You're looking skinny like a model with your eyes. Oh, at least we haven't been identified. I have to go. Especially since Kate's parents aren't going to bury her here. <laughs> okay. I'm in the market for a new Time processor, for so say compared to the hey, there I9. You go. What are the Rachel benefits? left a bunch of her clothes uh, with me. Compared to the i9, it She's literally is going to come down to what you're doing it for. So if you're not streaming Next or you're not doing any multi-processes, I mean, the i9 is not a bad way to go. Uh, the i9 does cost a lot more than the Ryzen brand 7. Brand and jeans. Uh, I, well, I wouldn't say a lot more, but like it is more expensive. But it would be cool to try on Rachel's clothes. Yeah, it's a little overkill, but it's Stop more expensive. Stop yourself, Max. I don't know. Put this on and let your inner punk rock it, it, girl It all come comes out. down to what you're you going to do. You take chances whenever and whatever you want to try. For example, I dare you to kiss me. What? I double dare you. Kiss me now. What? This is... This is taking a turn. I, I don't know. Why do I don't feel like I should make this choice? Sorry, not that easy. Oh, like I am? Just admit that you already macked on me, then used your rewind. Now I can text Warren that you're saving yourself all for him. I am so going to best unfriend you for that. I love that Chloe is so fearless. Is 
There's a tear in that shirt. Me primarily, I'm making uh, I'm making sick, a new Max? game. A also, tats, I run uh, scientific we'll simulations make and make my yet. own music. I mean, I do stream bro. sometimes, but I didn't want Maybe to be not. that guy that go comes on down into and say hi to stream. Joyce. I understand. Breakfast? I understand. I have to uh, um, wake and bake first. I the only not thing to that you've got to remember if you're going to go with a Ryzen CPU over an over a Intel CPU is Ryzen is very dependent based off of the speed of your RAM. So your RAM is going to need to be fast and it's going to, you know, that way you don't end up bottlenecking or anything like that. The fact that she put the photo next to Rachel is so touching. What are we doing? How is it for overclocking? I don't actually know. I haven't looked into overclocking mine at all. It probably. Wow. I remember this. I, I don't know phone. about Ryzen and we overclocking because. Yeah, dedicated wham. Um, uh, Ryzen's have a tendency to run a little bit warmer than I than the Intel ones, so I don't know about overclocking. That would be something I would probably research oh more. God. I can't give you a. That smells so amazing. I can't give you a, a good in you know good answer on that, Miss Clontfield. I wanted to thank you so much for your actions with my daughter Kate. You showed true grace and bravery when you went up to that roof with her. Oh God, chat. It's like when we were kids here. No, no, chat. God, what am I doing? Oh, are you making banca pancakes and bacon? Please tell me you are. Good morning, Joyce. Rachel. Uh, uh, I mean, Max. Oh, you startled me. Well, you fit those clothes well. Thank God you're not a hellraiser like her or Chloe. Now tell me exactly what you want to chow on. Ooh. <laughs> yes! Oh, can I have all of it? Can I have both? Can I have pancakes and eggs and bacon? Can I have everything? Well, like, why are you limiting my choices right now? Why are you limiting my choices? I'm dying for some of your famous pancakes. Yeah, that's right. I thought right. you would have missed those. Yeah, give me those pancakes. Ah, you ate more than William, and he loved them. I remember. We would race each other to grab them from the stack. So this time, you can help me with the ingredients. I need you to grab me the eggs and milk. Eggs and milk? No problemo. Eggs and milk, cat. Egg. The eggs always come first, as Joyce used to say. I love that they still have the same refrigerator. Come on, Max. Find those ingredients so we can chow down. Why is the milk? Now for the mother's milk. Yeah. I like I like her. Thanks. After all these years and everything that's happened, it's great to see you and Chloe together again. She hasn't had a good friend since you or Rachel. Oh, those clothes remind me so much of her. Such a sweet girl. I'm just hoping she's living large in L.A. I'd love to think that too, Joyce, but we are on the same page, Max. I keep hoping that Rachel will show up or even send a message to Chloe from Hollywood. Or wherever she is. Be honest, Joyce. Do you think Rachel is okay? <laughs> God, I hope so. She was, is, smart. And she always landed on her feet. Maybe I don't know her as well as I thought. Maybe Chloe doesn't either. Sometimes I feel like I don't know Chloe as well as I thought. Mm. <laughs> Max Caulfield, are you actually jealous of Rachel? Maybe. Rachel was so much cooler than me. Oh, <laughs> you think? Then why has Chloe been telling me she wishes she could be more like you over the past five years? Doubt it. Um, did she really? 
Five years ago feels like a thousand now. And that makes me what, a century old? Wow. <laughs> You're only 18, Max. Oh, youth. If only I could go back. It's not all that, Joyce. Voila, a breakfast fit for us queens. And a king. <laughs> go sit at the table. Uh, so you're a variety streamer. Yeah, uh, I do a lot of variety streaming. Um, I mainly do a lot of RP streaming. Um, GTA RP, we play a lot of GTA RP on the family RP roleplay server. Um, but yeah, I do a lot of variety. I have a tendency to get bored and I have to keep myself entertained. So we stream shooters, we stream story driven stuff, we stream a lot of different things. Thank you so much, Joyce. I guess nobody waters the plant here. Clean. Kate's life was sure worth a nice exploitive headline. Wow. Peanut butter. I'm glad that's creamy and not crunchy. Eat. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, I do want to play before the storm. I, I do want to play all of them. I want to play... Uh, before the storm, Captain, what is it? It's Captain. And then there's part two. All right, are we done? No, there. It's a closed one. It's you. It, there's a. They do have a public server. Seeing um, that again. you can play on, but uh, the one I play on is a so whitelist much. server. I know these photos don't measure up to your work, Max. My favorite photographers probably take pictures similar to yours. You make David happy, Joyce. He wants us all to be happy, Max. He's just not great at showing it. Uh, I don't think I can rock this outfit like Rachel. You have your own cool style. Wow, sir. I totally remember that day. I'm glad. William took this picture with his instant camera. <laughs> oh, it was the last picture he ever took. He had his car out right after. See, I don't have before the storm yet. And I know, Joyce. I'm sorry. Unfortunately, in my game, oatmeal. I didn't show you this to be shit went head. bad. In fact. I want you to have this. This was when my baby was so full of life and light. She was hopeful, positive, and everything she's not. Yeah, in my uh, in my playthrough, things did not this go was well the last for us. Time I ever saw Chloe truly happy. Did you guys have a bonding session about how fucked up I am? It's not always about you, Chloe. Please, it's too early to start picking a fight. Eat instead. I'll keep the warden busy while you go peek in the garage. Now stop whispering or I'll know you're talking about me. Stop being so nosy, mother. Jeez, I can't do anything around here without everybody getting up in my shit. Ugh, no one can even joke with you, Chloe. You fly off the handle like that. Excuse me, I have to use the bathroom. You haven't sure, played before run off the storm? and pee when you should back me up. Now, who's being paranoid? I bought it ages ago. Just yeah, you, you should, yourself. rabbit. Nobody you should. else does. I do need to get into David's computer. He's got to be hiding shit. All right, we got to get into David's computer. It's not locked, right? No shit, it needs a password. How about step douche? No. Try again. I need more clues. Yeah, all right, it does need a password. All right, let's see. Nothing to see here. You liked Before the Storm more than the Maybe original? Maybe I could try Stepdad for the password. Wait, why did we rewind there? <sighs> try again. Nothing in it.
Naturally, David would buy a heavy-duty military power. I can even see the combination. That might be a useful password. Yeah, no. Can we stop? Chloe can't get another gun now. Unless she steals it back from Frank. Huh. Maybe this ID number might work. I could try the license number for the password. Looks like David has read this a lot. What did he learn? Nope. No way, Max. You totally froze the laptop. Such wrong. No way, Max. You totally talk. David has been dragging this head around since 2001. Obviously, David's parents care about him. That date might be a good... Cute. Can't picture David driving Joyce around with this on the car. Hmm. That's cute. Could be a password here. Even David Madsen might be an angel to somebody else. A lot of freaking. This is a lot of passwords, chat. I roll. feel like this is a lot of passwords. This is a better hobby for David than surveillance. Joyce might as well have wrote that might be a useful password. Magic 8-Ball says no. Score! Oh, Max we're in. the hacker strikes again. Whoa, spoiler alert. Rachel definitely hooked up with Frank. But why does David care? Aw. Instead of stalking Kate, David could have helped her. This is so wrong. Oh, creepy bastard. Ah. I better tell Chloe about this now. Oh, it's just one more thing to make her sad and mad. There we go. Whoa. No, Spoiler no, alert. I was trying to I was trying to Rachel relock the computer. I was trying Frank. to relock it. But why does David care? Nice breakfast. David, you, you're back already? Oh, boss I have to take fry. a nap after writing up vandalism reports last night. Nice. 
Toffee. What happened? Nice. Some little shit ass punks broke into the swimming pool. This is what happens at these PC bullshit colleges. Entitled students taking over the campus. Do you know for sure it was Blackwell students? Who else would do it? And I'm gonna bust them. Figures you'd be here. Is that your Rachel Amber Halloween costume? You know more about her than me. No. You and Chloe think you know more than anybody. Like all teenagers. Leave Max alone, David. Stop threatening students. He threatens them with surveillance cameras, so he can spy on everybody. Mm. Like he spies on all of us here. Don't start, Chloe. Not now. Yeah, I'm just always starting shit, right? You're a total paranoid, David. Not now, Chloe. He used to call me a loser for getting kicked out of Blackwell. So who's the loser now, David? Who haven't you accused or harassed? Between your investigations into Rachel and Kate, what have you done besides get in trouble? Oh, shh. Oh, God, why are we... I don't like this chat. I feel like there should be a third option that says stay the fuck out of this because this is none of your business. I don't think David's actually a bad guy, chat. Like he shouldn't have like, he, <laughs> like, I think he was actually trying to help Kate. That is very true. That was very fucking You're creepy. You're a bully, David. I saw you harass Kate Marsh when she was going through hell. You could have totally helped her. Everybody at Blackwell is a suspect to you, except for Nathan Prescott. That's why the students and faculty don't like you. You even hit your stepdaughter. I do respect your service, but you don't respect anybody. Chloe was doing drugs. That's illegal. So is spying on people in your family and at your work. Why do you have photos of Kate Marsh and Rachel Amber in your files anyway? What? Is this true, Max? Yes, David. Why do you have these files at all? I find this very disturbing. I do not have to take this kind of interrogation. Not from you punks. Maybe you should calm down. Uh oh, you're turning on me now, huh? Of course. Women always stick together. Well, screw you. Yeah, David, he's like chaotic good. That's... You better go to a hotel until we figure this out. You can't kick me out of my own home. It's my home, David. Paid for and in my name. You know the law, right? Oh, I, I thought I knew a lot of things. Oh, he's a, he's a total creep. Like when I'm out flanked. Have a nice day. Chloe, for once, just please shut up. I hope Joyce doesn't hate me for tearing into David. I don't want to see or hear you again, Max. You've hurt me and my family enough. Max, don't beat yourself up. David earned this all by himself. Understand? Lady power for the win. I mean, he's he's being a total fucking creep, chat. Let's not lie. Like, he's being a super creep. Max, that gave me chills. And you better not rewind this one. Can, can we just, can we just leave? Like, the, the whole surveilling your, your family Listen, thing is super fucking creepy. David's laptop, Man, I like, really creepy. Rachel and Frank being more than friends. <laughs> right, no way, Max. She was just posing to tease Frank. If you're not gonna believe me, why don't we check out what Frank has in his RV? What's that gonna prove? Frank has Rachel's bracelet. What else does he have in there? Motherfucker better not have anything for his sake. Let's check the door. Frank gets so wasted, he sometimes forgets to lock it. This is much bigger than you. Frank, what are you eating there, buddy? I thought it was like chocolate chip pancakes, but now I don't know. I'm out with him. Not anymore. We have to be casual ninjas here. Shipples. Okay, here's the plan. 
I'll go to the diner and distract Frank by telling him I have his money, but he needs to come with me. Then you come in and rewind so Frank doesn't see me. Then you can tell Frank he needs to check out his RV, and then you rewind after you get the key and... Giant uh, chocolate chip cookie? And... That's, yeah. Chloe, I got I this. wanted to eat right those back. beans. Don't let my epic plan get in the way of yours. I'll try to scrounge up a Scooby snack to distract his mangy mutt. Okay, what are we... Now Happy. to find a quick and easy way to snag Frank's keys. Mm. Quick and easy way to snag Frank's key. Oh, there's a bird. This is so creepy. Yep. Wait. Tornadoes, snowfall, eclipses. That's now a dying lot of, animals. That's a lot of dying birds, Holy chat. Shit. What the? F what is going on here? What is going on here? Morning. How are the fish today? Don't ask. First the snow, then an eclipse. What's next? The tornado? Oh God! Why would you? Why would you say that? You don't think it could be why like would you say that, my dude? Why would you climate say sure that? Climate sure has changed around here. Just saw that Prescott brat having a fit by himself in the parking lot. Isn't he always having a fit? He ain't the only one. You knew what was going on with the fish around Arcadia Bay. Sorry, I'm too pissed to talk about yeah, it. Yeah, that's that's They're that's very true, here. Omil. That's very true. He more than likely was. Good morning. How are Don't ask. I heard that something bad was happening to the fish in Arcadia Bay. Well, since you mentioned it first, there ain't no fish in Arcadia Bay. <laughs> what? Come on. None? No, I haven't spoiled anything for myself. I have no idea I'm about any of this. I've Salmon, never seen trout, this bass played or played it. Even the damn clams are dying. Oh my god. But what about... Sorry, it's too salty to talk about it. See you around, kid. It... <laughs> I feel like that was a pun. It's a saltwater bay, but he's too salty to talk about it. Hey, how's it going? Peachy. Interview over. <laughs> wow. Worst interview ever. Some punks messed with the train tracks, and now I have to wait for three days until I get my cargo. Oh. Time is money for a guy like me. Oh. Uh, oh, yeah, that sucks. Oh, Wish I could shit. drive right out Chat. of goddamn Arcadia Bay. The whole town is crumbling. Snow, eclipse. That slut suicide. Maybe you should leave then. What if I could? Now even that shifty Rachel What's-Her-Face asked me once if I'd drive her to Los Angeles. You knew Rachel Amber? Can you tell me about her? Wow. Nope. Christ, why don't you get a real job instead of homework? I'd love to see you Blackwell turds try to drive my 1977 Needham 18-wheeler out there. Like I said, interview over let's 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 do this again let's let's do this again hey how's it going peachy actually i wanted to ask if that's your bitch in 1977 needham 18 wheeler out there how the hell did you know that i took a blackwell class on the history of truckers I always wanted to drive a rig on the road. Finally, a Blackwell student with brains. Next time I get a local job, I'll let you ride along. Take care. Oh, I fucked up, chat. Hey, how- Peachy. Actually- How the hell- My friend Rachel Amber told me about this cool rig in town because I love taking pictures of truckers. You knew Rachel. She sure didn't give a rat's ass about truckers or real work. Oh, so you must have known her too? Only from the diner. She was just a gold digger. She belonged in California with all those 
you know who know what's. Good riddance. But you can take pictures of my truck anytime. Take care. Okay. Okay. Well, we learned a lot there, chat. We learned a lot there. Good lord, bacon. I'm ready to nosh again. Oh, but I need to get those keys from... wanted to see what would happen if I did this. I'm gonna kill you. You eat like a pig. Try the floor. I was eating those beans. Are you fucking insane? I was eating those, those beans. beans. Oh. <laughs> I was eating those beans. You have serious balls, little girl. But hanging out with Chloe, playing with guns, and dressing up like Rachel doesn't make you cool or tough. What the fuck do you want? Take a picture of me and I'll break your fucking camera. How do you know these are Rachel's clothes? Because she looks beautiful in them and you look like ass. You're lucky I just took that gun from you. Grab your keys and let's check out your RV. Let's not. You fucking creep me out. In other words, Max, no keys. Maybe I could chat up that officer, or even Nathan, and then go all Groundhog Day on them until I get the info I need. How you doing, Maxine? I'm so sorry you had to be up there with Kate when she, you know... Yeah, he's just a total know dick. We're proud of you for going up there. Thanks, Officer Barry. I know you guys deal with this stuff way more than me, but it is hard to deal with. I'm glad you're representing Black Bull Academy. I thought Nathan Prescott represents Blackwell. Well, don't make me backwash this bacon. You know what the Prescotts represent. Taking over Arcadia Bay? You're not far he wrong, might, Max. He might just be I hurt. The Prescotts are working yeah. on some new big land deals. Mr. Prescott helped out my family once a while ago. So I made a deal with him hmm. that I can't seem to get out of. Man, if I could get one instant replay in life. I better finish my breakfast first. How you doing, Maxine? Thanks, Officer Bear. I'm glad you're... Well, I heard a rumor you were working for the Prescott family on the side. Jesus, doesn't this town ever shut up? I don't blame you for getting extra work. Oh, man. Look, sometimes I check up on the Prescott Maybe family to make sure they're doing all right. Who hurts you? Nathan Who hurts you? Included. Oh, my God. Food come uh, had hit. Yeah, Shorty, was Try it good? interrogating somebody else, Lieutenant Caulfield. How you doing, Max? Thanks. I'm glad... Do you think Arcadia Bay is a weird town? Amazing dinner. I'd take a Good. normal city with normal problems about now. Makes me sick thinking about it. I guess Kate Marsh will be the face of Blackwell for a while. Such a waste. Awful. I feel like David Madsen represents Blackwell. Not for long. He's a loose cannon. We all respect him for his service, but... He's too eager. He's eager to be a dick to me and Chloe. That's true. He was ranting about a stolen gun. <laughs> Not a problem, though, Mel. Welcome back. Somebody's always out to get him. I feel like we're wasting our power. How you doing, Maxine? Thanks, officer. I'm glad. 
Oh wait. I okay, leave. All right. No, we're good. Oh, I, I take it that guy didn't win millions. Oh, look who it is. It's Nathan our favorite douchebag, chat. Because he was expelled. Rachel. Uh, whatever the fuck. Uh. Oh, look. Max Amber. Nice outfit. <laughs> uh -huh. By the way, thanks for getting me fucking expelled, you twee bitch. Yo, Payne, thank Lucky you so much for that follow. Place. I do appreciate that. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Considering Hope you enjoy your time and your stay. Considering with a police officer right over there, you shouldn't advertise your rage, Prescott. Oh, yeah? You shouldn't have bitch snitched on me to that fucked up principal. I bet Frank hooked you and Rachel Amber up with party supplies. Nice try. Rachel partied like a fiend on her own. More than me. I doubt that. Like you would know, virgin. Even that pig over there knows Rachel hung out more with Frank. I mean, don't talk to the cop about that, dumbass. <laughs> Holy shit, what do you want now? I heard your dad hired a local cop to keep an eye out on you and Frank Bowers. Like a babysitter. Bullshit. My dad doesn't hire. He owns. And these pigs know better than to knock on me. Do they? I hope that means Frank won't get busted. Eventually he will. Guy's into some freaky shit. He told me once he took a weird blood oath for Rachel. Uh, forget I told you that. Seriously. Now get off my crack, whore. Keep wow. your piles shut. Wow. Holy shit, what do you want now? Weren't you supposed to keep your mouth shut about the blood oath Frank took for Rachel? Blood oath? Who? What the fuck? I never told anybody about that freaky shit. Besides, everybody knows Frank is a liar and a loser. Even Rachel did. Yet Rachel Amber hung out with him more than you. So? Rachel wanted Frank's stash. She let him take pictures, then he carries around her photo like she posed for love. Dumbass. <sighs> Rachel! I bet Frank hooked oh, you- Oh shit, I need a nice I wrong one. Like you- I fucked up, I fucked up chat. Alright. Your sugar daddy will always protect you. And threaten me. You don't know shit about my father or me. Nobody here does. Then tell me what I should know. Why? So you can pretend to care, hmm? Spoiler alert, he's an asshole. Maybe I could help you. I don't need you for anything except to stay out of my fucking business, understand? Now get out of my face. Mm, holy sh... I bet you hoped that Kate Marsh would stay quiet. Idiot says what? Did you drug her? You are so stupid, Max. You think you're so goddamn smart, too. Don't push me, girl. You don't want me for an enemy, understand? Do you? Calm down, dude. We're in the diner. Right. Plus, you're an adult now. I can sue your dumbass for libel. Thanks. Now fuck off, Dyke. Wow. <sighs> Holy. Wow. Listen, Nathan. I'll take back everything I said about you. If you hook me up with Frank. Know what I mean? You look like you've never even taken a hit of baby aspirin. How do you think I stay wired all night studying? So is it a deal or not? Calm down, hard up. Deal. You'll get your school supplies. Just go over to Frank and whisper, higher education. You'll hook your ass up. Holy shit, what do you want now? Okay, all right, we're good with him. All right, let's go talk to the cop again, I think, and then we can go talk to Frank. I don't think this guy's a millionaire. I don't think he, I don't think he won, chat. What can I do for you, Max? Max? 
Nathan said that Rachel Amber represents Blackwell with Frank Bowers. Bowers ain't no student anymore. Sadly, he does represent one side of Arcadia Bay. I want you to stay out of his orbit, okay? He man that rabid mutt. I heard something about Frank Bowers and his puppy. My boy does love his dog. Especially when the dog is your personal drooling bodyguard. You can bet he trained that poor thing on blood. Gross. I wouldn't bet. Where did he get the pup? Frank used to bet on dog fights. Now, to his credit, he had a revelation. He saved a bunch of the dogs, kept one for himself. He's still a creep. You and that Chloe stay away, right? There's so many of these, like, rewinds. What can I do for you, man? explain the recent extreme weather patterns no but we have to start with the hypothesis that climate change is a partial cause for the unseasonal weather that doesn't explain everything of course frankly we don't know yet dr hedora great will your team know more after their latest tests i hope we see more patterns which gives us an atmospheric template many local residents of arcadia bay have been questioning what has been going on with this crazy weather we had an eclipse yesterday a snowstorm two days ago, which, as most of you know, is not common this time of year. It's unprecedented, to be honest with you. Uh, the last time that we had a snowstorm of this caliber was over a hundred years ago. All of us are questioning what is happening in Arcadia Bay. I feel like I feel like Please the next game is going to be set a hundred years in the past. What you think this might be is this global warming. What is causing all of this crazy weather? <laughs> this is a this happens every hundred years. Some crazy stuff. Uh, all right, let's talk to Frank. What the fuck now? You know I saw that photo Rachel gave you. Uh, uh how do you know about that? Huh? Chloe, right? She just told me that one of Rachel's favorite pictures was the one she did for you. Really? Yeah, I mean, that's what I thought. She was just a natural beauty, you know? Wait, wait, let me, let me find it. Here, judge for yourself. Yep, exactly. The magic keys to Frank's RV kingdom. I'm afraid I'll have to take your keys now, asshole. You did not just do that. Give me back my keys, bitch. Give me my keys now! Key brought. Now back to Chloe. I kind of want to know my about... My work here is done here, Frank. I, well, I kind of wanted to know about everything else. Yeah, we got the keys, but I kind of wanted to... Could be aliens. Yeah, it could be aliens. Watch out! Quick thinking, Max. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking a, like that's like we literally help her out all the time. Area fifty one, maybe. I should have known. The amazing Spider Max. I couldn't have done it without Frank. Now let's get in and out. You'll need this, Max. What? Why do I have to have the bone? On your mark, get set. Throw. Get the treat, treat boy. I think we just made that dog. The our fuck? Bitch. Like there was an option get to it. throw it at now the I can road. Sneak in peace, but let's not waste time. The doggy is busy now, but he might come back. Wow, that seems really fucked up. The Winchesters. Damn, I thought my room was a shithole. You're not a creepy drug dealer. Frank has issues, but he's not creepy. 
At least I didn't think so until I saw him with Rachel's bracelet. Oh, we could cruise everywhere in this bad boy! Can you see us heading down the coast to Big Sur and beyond? Yes, we'd be tearing up the highway. And you dare me to drive it like you dared me to kiss you? Chloe, we're on a schedule. We need clues about Rachel. I know. Just daydreaming. Let's see. Oh, a baseball bat. I you doubt Frank is trying out for the Arcadia Bay Brewers. The archetypal filthy guy dishes. Frank is almost a made-for-TV hoarder. Good to know Frank has a knife lying around. How can somebody live like this? Too bad I don't have my Frank Bowers decoder ring. That's a pretty extreme lighter. Are these for Frank or is he selling them? Or both? Is Frank going to deal online now? I could pry this vent open with the right tool. That's almost cute to see Frank posing with his dog. Oh. No more secrets. Oh. Ooh, Frank's stash. Crappy wife out here. Must take him days to download the picture. Okay, this vent is loose. I need something to pry it open. Of course Frank gets the munchies. Frank must spend all his drug money on baggies. <laughs> Recycle, dude. Pompidou? <laughs> For reals? That's a poodle's name. I think the doggy likes his bone more. I can't quite picture Frank and Chloe drinking beer and hanging out. Frank must have a reason to keep a police radar nearby. All right, we need to find a tool, chat. We're looking for a tool. No prize here. Uh, oh, take the knife, chat. We this found it. This is almost as good as a set of keys. Almost. Uh, let's do this one first. Uh, Curses! Nothing here. Well, that's fine, because guess what? We have rewind powers! My blade will open any portal. What is this? What have we found? Oh, man. Rachel and Frank's dog. I don't know if I should be touched or disturbed. I'm glad Rachel got to drive this beast. She looks genuinely happy. Rachel really did hang out with Frank. I'm learning more about Rachel than I want to know. Hmm. Trouble in paradise. I'm a Leo, and I and we never look back. That's actually fucking true, chat. Leos, we are notorious Whoa, about what the hell that. What are you doing with that dog? It makes me ill that Rachel posed like this for Frank. I wrote him love letters. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? Because she knew how you would react. And she wasn't much of a friend, huh? Just another person who shits all over me. Why does everybody in my life let me down? 
My dad gets killed, you bail on me for years. My mother gloms on a stepfucker. Now Rachel betrays me. Chloe, Rachel is missing. Nobody betrayed you. Bullshit. Who hasn't? Fuck everybody. Wow. Chloe. I never understand astrology, neither do I. Chloe, you can't keep blaming me and everybody for everything wrong in your life. It's so not fair. I gotta blame somebody, otherwise it's all my fault. Fuck that. Grow the fuck up. Grow up. And I'm not trying to be mean, but you're not the only one in Arcadia Bay with problems. Kate Marsh killed herself, you know? Yes, Kate Marsh killed herself. She's dead. Such sad, okay? That doesn't make me feel better about my fucked up life, get it? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? You blame William? Really? Yes, I do. Damn right. He chose to go out that door and leave me forever. Chloe, your dad didn't choose to leave you. I know that, Max. My mom actually blames herself. Just because she wanted a ride home from work. Sometimes, even I blame her. No, you don't. Yes, Max, I do. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? And he never does? No, of course not. But I was with you that day. It was just a terrible accident. I wish that made me feel better. But ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. You don't want to hear this, but you're still here. Alive. With me. And that is no accident. You're right. I don't want to hear this. Chloe, I can't do this out on my own. I need you with me. And Rachel needs you. Oh my Whoa. god. What is happening now? What? Uh Illuminati. Someday dad will get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Not until I see it first. You know the rules, dad. Max, tell him. Whoa, hey. You look totally pale. Are you okay? Yeah. I just... Uh... Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, Chloe. Give me the thumbs up or thumbs down. Well... I might just allow this one into the family album. No. You're the boss. What is this? But not the cook? 
William is here. Yes, and we can't Chloe is just a kid. And serve us slackers. Am I that we'll far back in time? You mean pancakes? Oh. In France, they call them. Oh. I'm 18 years I old inside my 13 year old self. What is How? going on? We. Oui. I volunteer to break the eggs. Do you remember how many eggs? Mom said it depends. That's true. So, how many eggs? Don't now I get to take a picture. Strike a pose. Make me a star. Just make me look young. Don't you dare question the chef. Right. Like you can the see the bond players. between Chloe and her father. And the love. Now this is a photo. I'll let her know that. Joyce loves William so much. Man, I remember Chloe what reading this. What is going on? But not after today. What a mess we made. I remember those cool drawings I did with Chloe. Chloe was so into manga. Nice hair. Hello? Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous- I forgot about this. Back to the lighthouse. It's breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the Two Whales. My family never took fun, goofy photos like this. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. I have to stop William from taking his car today. Ladies, I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She doth have many bags of delicious grub for us to feast you are upon. You ridiculous. <laughs> You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. Oh, yeah, I miss movie nights here. Huh. Cookies and popcorn. You can't hide from me. What? Score! I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course, I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. Excuse me, ladies. I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She doth have many bags of delicious grub for us to feast upon. You are upon. ridiculous. <laughs> Chat, what? We'll be grateful for that someday. Um, Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. Obvious, but it will have to do. Keys. Another dollar for the swear jar. You're bankrupting me. I know they never took that big vacation. I knew this thing would come in handy. Oh, Why shit. Why are my keys under here? No. And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad. Don't blow it, because tonight your mother promised to make us a world famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Max, you'll be here too, right? She's never leaving me. That makes all of us. Shit, where are those keys? Another dollar for this. Well, an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. Excuse me, ladies. I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She doth have many bags of delicious... Can I throw the keys into the fire? The you ridiculous. <laughs> You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. That's a cool so snow dough. Keys, please. Aw. Uh, I don't think that's gonna work, chat. I don't think that's gonna work. Shit, where are those keys? I know I've seen those pictures before. 
Another dollar for the swear jar. You're bankrupting me. Hide them keys real good. I knew this thing would... And no cloak. That wasn't good enough, chat. We gotta hide them better. You'll be grateful for that someday. Crap. I need to hide the keys where William won't hear his dumb beeper. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. I know I had those keys right here. I know it. Forgot all about you, little buddy. Release the keys. Of course. Last time I ordered from Spy Guy Electronics. You can take the bus, right? The stop is right down the street. This I can do. Good call, Max. Oh, yeah, the bus is great. It comes every 15 minutes, and there'll be plenty of room for you and, and Joyce and groceries and... And it'll save the environment. You sold me already. I'm off to yonder bus stop. Uh, Joyce will love this. Max, you are being so fucking strange. You feel okay? Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. It did change. Nothing changed. Wait, did it change? It changed. What did we just do? What did we just do, chat? I have a bad feeling about all of this. Hello, are you even listening, Maxine? All my friends in LA told me that Oregon was Max. Be wet and cold every day. But Never like Maxine. So that's why she was seen so once. I know. Sorry, Mad Max. <laughs> You're not pissed at me, right? Right? What is going on? Do you want to go hit the girls' potty and smoke them peace pipe? I think Max is hot. She's acting like so weird. You cool, Max? Nobody listened when I said we shouldn't let her in the vortex. We're in fucking you don't vortex? Want anybody in the club. Like whatever, bitch. Warren, he hooked up with Stella. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, Max. Are you are you a little jealous now? Are you a oh, little no. jealous? This is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Chloe. Yeah, I couldn't walk around at all. I couldn't do anything. This is all cutscenes. Why is there always a flock of birds? Just always a giant ball of birds in the sky. It's super creepy. No.
Max Caulfield. Taking a break after taking Seattle by storm, huh? Hmm. We thought we'd never see you again after you left for the big city. No. I'd never do that to Chloe. Speaking of, I know she's been dying to see you. Hold on. Chloe! You have a visitor! Episode ends, chat? Oh my gosh. Chat, if this, if I was playing this when this came out, I would have been so fucked. Like, I would have been so mad. Hey, Rose, what's going on? Oh my god, chat. Give me a second. I gotta mark the time on this one. 6.52. Wow. You wasn't mad and you played it when you first came out? Yeah, like... Wow. Oh my gosh, chat. I was not, okay. 